How's it going, my happy subscribers? It's your boy Marco. And I'm here today with the very first episode of COD Tips. And this episode, we'll be taking a look at how to make the transition from uh, pub loadouts to competitive loadouts. This is this video is going to be for pu public players going into the competitive scene for Call of Duty Ghosts. So we're going to take a look at, at loadouts. So first off, with making a loadout, you want to make a loadout specific to uh, the game type and or map. So there will be several different maps and, several, and three different game types. So you either want to make a loadout towards the game type or towards the map. But since we only have six loadouts here, we're going to make it towards the uh, game type. So we'll, we'll be able to have two lo loadouts for each each game type. So as you see here, we have two dominations, we have two blitz, we have two S and D classes. So today we're just going to look at domination to start off with. So first off in competitive, uh, there is going to be rules that you guys are going to have to follow. So for all your public players, uh, you, you better ch uh, take a look at the websites. I'll send, I'll provide the links to the websites in the description below, and you guys can read the rules from there. So let's get right into it. So I suggest removing the common knife. Obviously, uh, that's very un unneeded. Riot shields unneeded. The shotguns unneeded. And the light machine gun and marksman rifles are unneeded. The reason why for light, light machine guns, uh, it takes too long to reload and it'll take you out of, out of the game more or less. So the only, only classes or tiers you should stay, stay in or stay around are the assault rifles, some machine guns, and sniper rifles. So since we're looking at domination, we want to look for a, a bit of more fast pace than a sniper rifle. So we want to be looking at assault rifles and some machine guns. So how do you know what class or what loadout or what gun you should uh, pick if you're if you're very new to competitive? Well, if you've been playing pubs for a long time, you have to think to yourself, uh, wh what weapon do I use more? Do I use more of the ARs or more of the subs? So for for my instance, we're gonna go towards the AR side. So within the rule sets, the MSBS is already banned, so we don't have to worry about that. It's just the other ones we have to worry about. So from public, you have to decide, okay, what weapon do I use more? And what weapon feels more comfortable for you? Uh, just because you use it, just because you use a weapon more doesn't mean it's more comfortable for you. So for my instance, we're going to start with the uh, SC 2010. So the SC 2010, I'm choosing this weapon because it has a good rate of fire, uh, less less recoil than than other weapons, and the kill time is pretty is pretty fast. So for Ghost, what this allows us to do, uh, we're allowed to pick two attachments without interfering with our perks. So we're going to go ahead and, and click uh, attachments. So we have different types of attachments here. We have optical sights, we have uh, barrels, we have under barrel, and then we also have mods. In competitive, some uh, some attachments will be banned. So please check the websites, check the rulings to see which ones are banned, so you don't accidentally use them because a penalty will occur during a match. So for this instance, we're going to start off with uh, the muzzle break. We want to pick attachments that help out the gun. So we want things that can increase the damage, or can increase the range, fire, accuracy. We want to increase everything to make this gun the most powerful gun in the game. So we're going to throw on Muzzle Break because you see there on the stats, it increases damage by a little bit, but also increases range by quite a significant amount. So we're going to click, we're going to click that. Now we have the Muzzle Barrel on this. Now this gun is about two times better than the normal standard with nothing on it. For a second attachment, we're going to throw it on a site, an optical site. We have many different sites here. We have Red Dot, we have ACOG, we have Holographic, we have VMR site, we got Thermal, and then we also got Tracker site. Again, check the websites. Depending on what website you're on, uh, the rule sets are going to be different per website. So we're just going to go with standard Red Dot. Red Dot will clear up all the iron sites, even though the SC2010 iron sites are very manageable to use. The red dot will just clear all that up so you guys can have a better uh, line of sight. So there we go. So now we have our weapon. We have the SC2010 with the muzzle break, and we also have a red dot attached to it. Now, because this is a, a, a medium pace game type because it's domination, secondaries is not a must. We don't. We usually don't need a secondary. Uh, but for the new for the new players, we're gonna throw on a secondary. So. All launchers are going to be banned, so don't even worry about the launchers. You have to worry about the handguns. So, the handgun I suggest using will be the uh, P226. Uh, this gun is the 
fastest shooting weapon for handguns. It has the longest kill distance for a two two bullet kill, and it also has a large clip of, of 14. So we're gonna click that right there. So there we go. So now this is our our loadout is starting to come together now. Uh, lethal and tactical. We're in, we're not gonna worry about that just right away. So perks. We're gonna go into perks now. So perks are going to help out the character and how you play. So we want to have good perks that are going to help you perform during the match. So first off, since because we are using an AR, we're going to start off with speed here. So we want to put on soccer right away, which is faster movement while ADS and while aiming on the sights. This allows you to walk normal speed while moving and aiming on the sights and strafe around corners and uh, move between different objects while aiming at a good pace. This is must because when you're playing, soccer is going to definitely help you out a lot. So I suggest putting soccer on. Another perk that's going to be. I suggest putting soccer on. Another perk that's going to be very beneficial is going to be focus. Focus reduces the weapon sway when aiming down the sights, and also it reduces flinches when you when you get hit. So when you're aiming down the sights. Your, we your weapon or your red dot won't bounce around, and also when you get shot, uh, it will be reduced when your weapon bounces upward. So, we have two we have two perks on it now, and we still have a lot more slots to fill. So the next the next perk we want we're going to pick is going to be handling, which will be quick draw. Quick draw allows us to do faster aiming, so we want that definitely because we want the faster ADS to get the, the edge on your opponent. Now, as you see, we have two extra slots left, so we can I could pick uh, one level one perk or one or sorry one level two perks or two level one perks, and then we can also pick one level two perks. Now, because we're playing competitive, it's going to be definitely a 4v4 or less uh, environment for you guys. So, we don't need sleight of hand because you won't run into people unless you get uh, unless you do something stupid. So, you guys got to think about that. So, sleight of hand is not a need. Scavenger is not a need either because you die you can die fairly quick, and it's because it's competitive and it's go it goes on the go. Uh, scavenger won't be needed. So, a viable option to, to pick would be dead silence. In competitive play, more often than not, uh, the enemy team, someone on the someone on the enemy team, a player will ha definitely have a headset. Uh, this can include a 40s, uh, turtle beaches, and so on and so forth. So dead silence is definitely a need perk. Now you guys are thinking probably what about what about amplify? Amplify is a great perk, but unfortunately it is already banned. So there we go. So now we have our a primary weapon, we have a secondary weapon, and we have uh, four perks. This is the stand. This is gonna be a standard uh, domination class setup. Now for strike package, we're gonna go to support because we want to support a team because you're playing with three other members. So support, you want to help out you and your teammates as much as possible. So this, so we're gonna go for a standard loadout here. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely put on the night owl. What the night owl is, it's a ten point. Uh, support streak, and it's a it's a drone that detects enemies on on a UAV pulse on the mini map every now and then, and it also protects you from explosives. So if anyone throws is throws a nade at you, the night owl will shoot it down, and then also will give you a portable UAV that follows you around. So that's uh, that's a good must. This is going to be a good score streak for people to use. Another score streak you can you can use will be ballistic vests. Now, I don't suggest using ballistic vests right off the bat, uh, because when you throw down a ballistic vest, it will take off time uh, out of the game for your teammates, because it takes about two seconds or three seconds to uh, press the axe and actually obtain the vest itself, and those those seconds can mean the mean the difference between uh, a win and a loss. So we're gonna take this off. The second the second. Uh, streak that we're going to put on here is going to be the support uh, squad mate. This is uh, going to be a riot shield AI controlled a player that runs around the map and also follows you. It has a riot shield and it has equipped up a pistol. Uh, this is going to help you out because it's going to give you more points and as well it can even capture and save objectives for you. 
The next standard thing we're going to put on here is going to be the ground, ground jammer. This disables communications and electronics, including uh, the mini-maps. So which in turn, if you call in the ground jammer, the Night Owl UAV pulse is going to be useless. So here you go, guys. This is going to be your standard class setup. Uh, if, this, if this support is too high for you guys, here's another option for you to when you guys are first starting competitive. So the first thing you guys can do is start off with the SATCOM. It's basically a port, a not a portable UAV, but the UAV you place on the ground, the more you have, the better effective it's going to be. We're going to start off, and then we can also start off with the ballistic vests and the night owl. So this is going to be your standard class loadout. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, for all your your pub players moving to competitive, I suggest finding four players including yourself that you like to play with and then try to find another four players that you enjoy playing with and try to make uh, two teams and go into private match and start playing uh, competitive wise. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys already haven't. Links to the competitive websites in the description below. Also links to my Twitter and my new Facebook page will be in the description below. This is your boy Marco. Peace out.